It's the e-commerce master plan podcast here to help you solve your marketing problems and grow your e-commerce business. Cutting through the hype to bring you inspiration and advice from the e-commerce sector and beyond. Here's your host, Chloe Thomas. Hello, welcome to the latest episode of the e-commerce master plan podcast. I'm Chloe, the host, and as always, it's awesome to have you listening. Yes, you. Um, in today's episode, I'm chatting with a lady who works at a business who have a really interesting product, which they're leveraging the excitement of and the interest around to grow. And they've also got a really interesting take on how they've built the culture of the business, despite the fact they're spread across almost every continent on the planet. Before we get into that, here's a message or two from our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online, it's just click, send and save for as low as $4.99. That's $4.99 a month. Try it free for 30 days and get a free £10 scale when you visit pb.com forward slash master plan. That's pb.com slash master plan. And now to introduce today's special guest. Elena Frederick is the Chief Sales Officer at Swanwick, a retailer of blue light blocking glasses that help customers get a better night's sleep. They launched in 2015 and have already sold over 85,000 pairs. Hello, Elena. Hello, Chloe. I'm so excited to be here. I'm really excited to have you on because I am, I'm a big fan of sleep and any business that has something to do with better sleep, I am so up for sharing your, your journey on the podcast. Um, so I've given our listeners a, a super quick overview of, of what you're up to, but how did you yourself get started off in e-commerce? So I have a very interesting start to e-commerce personally. Um, I actually started um, e-commerce selling cloth diapers. So in across the pond, they call them nappies. So I, I started selling cloth diapers and uh, nappies and um, then transitioned into other types of, of children's products that that people who use cloth nappies would be interested in. So we expanded our product line and um, very quickly just... Uh, taught myself at CSS and HTML and was doing it all and had so many people coming to me. How do you do that? How do you do? It? And then I was like, oh my gosh, I can't keep up with all the, how do you do that and still do that? <laughs> so, so I ended up transitioning from, from that and went more into um, str- um, strategy and working with others and helping to build their, their e-commerce. All oh, right. So you kind of went doing it yourself to being a consultant to then ending up client side working at Swanwick. Yeah. Very cool. So you've got, you've, you've done it all at all levels, I suppose then, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I feel that that's, that usually is what makes a great e-com manager is if you've done it all, you know, just, just like when you're at, at, at a, you know, your local grocery store or pub, you know, you can't have a manager that doesn't know how to rotate stock or run the cash register because how can they direct those underneath them if they don't have at least a little bit of knowledge. So I feel it helps lend well into me being able to have a broad overview because e-commerce has so many different aspects to it. So true. And I've, I, in the past, I've also found it quite handy to have done everything because then, you know, when you're asking someone to do something, which is a little bit tedious and repetitive, you're doing it knowing full well, you've you've done it as well. I know what, I know what it's like. I'm not going to make you do it all day, but someone has to do it. And today it's you. Yeah. And then it also helps lend into knowing if, um, people are taking too long or maybe they need a little bit of help in, in, um, scaling and, and having, um, a strategy on what they're doing. Because if you know yourself, okay, it took me an hour to do that every day, but they're taking five. What is up with that? So it's really great for, for that as well. Yeah, it does. It does leave the team with nowhere to hide, really, doesn't it? <laughs> like, yes, it does. I'm not believing that took you the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so let's let's stop stop talking about that. Uh, let's get to what we're supposed to be talking about, which is Swanwick. So, where in the world are you, and where are you selling to? 
So um, I am located in Austin, Texas, as is Swanna. We're based out of Austin, Texas. And we sell to, if you're a human being on planet Earth, we probably sell to you. Um, so we sell all over the world. Very cool. And I've mentioned a very quick thing about the product, but do you want to tell us about it? Because it is quite groundbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. So it, it's one of those products that you don't know what you don't know until you know it. And then you're like, oh, crap. I was like making myself blind. Um, so I didn't even know about blue light till I started with Swanwick. And then once I started learning about the product, how it works and why we have these glasses, I was like, oh my goodness, my kids need these. My husband needs these. If I see you without your Swannies on, oh Lord have mercy, put your Swannies on, protect your eyeballs. So basically we have night blue light blocking glasses that block blue light, all of it. We have day blue light blocking glasses, which I'm wearing mine now. They block the most harmful part of blue light, but still let in some blue light because it basically tells us to be productive and we need to be productive if we're going to be running a business. And then we also have sunnies, which is your standard typical uh, UV polarized uh, sunglasses as well. And we also have um, sleeping masks and earplugs and hypnotherapies and liquid sleep aids and melatonin gummies. We have all kinds of different stuff, but our core product that we focus on is our blue walking glasses, just because it's so crazy what our devices are doing to us and just killing our our cells and our eyes because blue light is all about the screens which we stare at all day long isn't it it's not a natural thing it's a electronics thing well we actually get uh, the sun is the largest producer blue light it's natural but in today's society we have now we now have you know electricity in our homes we've got led lights we've got television, computer screens, um, smartphones, tablets, um, heck, even our watches, you know, light up. They're, they're not the standard typical um, um, analog watches. They're smart watches. So we, our refrigerator lights, the, the lights in your microwave, um, all of those types of things are blue lights. And in the evening, when naturally the sun would go down and we would, you know, back in the day we would have candles or we would just be in bed. Um, it didn't matter. But now that we're up and we're still checking emails, looking at our sales stats, looking at our ads, um, communicating with our team on Slack or whatever else, we are inundating ourselves with that blue light and telling our brain it's time to be awake. And then we wonder why it takes us five hours to get to sleep. Next thing you know, it's time to get up. Yeah, I think it's such a fascinating subject because I think we've all started to become aware of it over the last few months or couple of years, say. But it's, and we see those blue light filters on, on our phones, but I think I hadn't, personally, I hadn't fully appreciated that it came from all those electrical devices. I thought it was kind of like a phones and tablets, but not from everything else. But now I, I fully get why you'd actually want to be wearing some glasses that get it because then you've got everything covered. You're not going to worry about the setting on the telly or the setting on the fridge or something. Right, exactly. Um, I mean, there's there's other ways you can do it. Um, we, we've heard of somebody who spent over six thousand dollars replacing all of the lights in his home with with smart lights that actually change their color depending on the time of the day. But he was still having issues because there wasn't much he could do for the tel television. There wasn't much, you know. He didn't even think about his smartwatch or the nightlight. You know, there's more than just the light bulbs or more than just the devices. So it's, it really comes from so many different places. Oh, yeah, and when you leave the house as well, because you've got so little control over that. Right. You've got your street lamps, you've got your traffic lights, you've got, um, you know, if you're out at a restaurant, you've got all of those lights. Cool. So, um, so rather than us talk about blue light, the entire interview, um, <laughs> right. what, what website are you selling these, these glasses and, and the rest of the products via? So we, our main platform, uh, we actually run off of Shopify. Um, most people know Shopify, especially if they're in e-commerce, it's kind of like one of those best beginner places you can start with. Um, we also are on Amazon in a number of different countries. And we're also starting to work into some other um, avenues like eBay and Walmart and, and Newegg and those types of platforms as well. But we mostly focus our efforts on, on Shopify and Amazon. 
Well, I guess being on all the rest of those platforms helps you spread the word because like we said, a lot of people aren't aware of the product. So the more places you put it, the more brand awareness you get, the more overall sales increase. Would that be the reason for being on the marketplaces? Yeah, it, you get into different networks and you can kind of tap into their advertising that they're doing and you're going to have a slightly different audience like Newegg is more of the, the techie geeky people that are on devices all the time. So it's like a perfect platform for us. Um, and, and then, you know, Walmart is just so well known people, you know, it, it's, it's kind of synonymous with, with Amazon. Um, so you can be, be where your customers are by, by being in these multiple areas. For anyone who's listening, if you're on Shopify, thinking you being on Shopify, you can catch all our podcasts with interviews with Shopify retailers at ecommercemasterplan.com forward slash Shopify. Now, um, given you're on Shopify, Elena, presumably there's a couple of widgets or plugins you're particularly proud of or particularly like using. Would, are there any you'd like to share with the audience? Well, that is definitely for our uh for our web developer, but I do have a few that I really do like to use. So um, definitely, if you have a e-marketing tool that you're using to capture emails, make sure you check and see if they have a plugin and you're not trying to do it the hard way. That is something that a lot of people try to do the hard way. So check for a plugin for that. Um, also, there is um, a free shipping bar plugin and it adds a really nice... Um, banner across the top of your store. So it's right there in front of people's face so they can see, oh, I get free shipping because that's often one of the top uh, abandoned carts is when they go through, they've added everything. They're like, oh, I don't want to pay an extra, you know, five pounds, $10, whatever it may be for shipping. But telling them from the get go, hey, you're getting free shipping um, helps to reduce that abandoned cart because then they get all the way through the checkout and they don't have any other surprises. Um, another great one is plug in SEO. So if you're um, new to SEO, um, it is very similar to um, and a lot of people know on WordPress, um, you have Yoast SEO, where I like I like that and this plug in SEO because it gives you basically traffic lights. So red means, okay, I need to stop and look at this. And green means woo, we are good. And yellow means eh. It's okay, but we could do better. So it gives you nice visual clues and gives you suggestions on what you should do to improve your SEO. Nice recommendations there. I like it and covering a lot of ground too. Um, and Elena, now you are the chief sales officer at Swanwick. So you're all about driving those sales. Who's in your team? Are you doing it all in-house or have you outsourced some things? So we have an actual global um, network of independent contractors. So we are literally everywhere. And it's so like, we have like, I think one more continent to get. So if somebody is willing to go to Antarctica and be in like frigid <laughs> temperatures, then we can say that Swanwick is on every continent. <laughs> but we've got people everywhere. We've got people in India and Pakistan and South Africa and Australia and Canada and Europe. So we're, we're all over the place. And we've got 15 regulars. And um, depending on the projects that we're working on, we can have upwards of like 40 people working on the team at any one time. Wow. So it's, it's a really fluid structure depending on what the business needs at that moment. Right. Yeah. We're, we're very much project-based. Are most of the team constantly working with you or are they all literally freelancers who you pull in project by project? Um, we have a lot of core team members, um, like our customer service. We actually have someone in customer service and on, in, um, on different sides of the world and that is on purpose. So we can have customer service available 24 seven. And then we, we also have, uh, like our, our, co our content manager, our graphics manager. So a lot of the, the, the department heads and a few people underneath them are all steady and consistent. And then if we have a big project coming up, maybe we're launching a new new product or maybe we're completely um, redoing the website, we'll bring in some extra people to help with that project. So that way our core people can continue focusing on those day-to-days. So our day-to-day -day doesn't suffer while we're, you know, adding in this other big project. I think that's such a, an interesting way of doing it. Because I think a lot of businesses 
certainly in the e-commerce space, they have that constant group of staff. And then when a project comes along, be it Black Friday or the Christmas spike or a new website, it just has to be absorbed into the manpower they've already got. And that's often becomes a problem. You know, you often speak to people who are like, well, sales went down last year because we were working on building the new website. It's like, that's just so insane in so many ways because it's like, well, the point of the new website is to increase sales, but in creating the new website, you lost sales because you didn't have the time to do your marketing. It just seems so much more sensible way of doing it. Yeah. And and we still have our core people that step in and kind of are managing and overseeing, but they're not actually doing. Um, so it's, it's a nice balance of being able to continue what you're doing, but still add on those things that you need to scale. Okay. And with all that's going on at Swanwick currently, what do you think is the most awesome thing right now? The one thing I personally love about Swanwick is our culture. Our team culture is absolutely wonderful. There's so many different businesses I have worked with that when you get in there, there's all these brilliant minds, but because of cultural differences or culture stigmas, most never felt they were allowed to speak up or they were allowed to give ideas or they were allowed to call you on your bad idea. And I love this about Swanwick that everyone's a team and Monday through Friday, every single day at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, we hop on a Zoom call with the entire team and we get to give shout outs and wins and praise each other for what we're seeing them doing and thank each other. And and it's such a beautiful, beautiful culture because now you've got people who typically wouldn't speak up coming to you and saying, hey, so you know that idea that you suggested, what if we did this instead? You're like, oh, I didn't think of that is brilliant. Let's try that or let's split test with that angle. And and it's such a great culture. And I feel like it makes Swanwick what it is. It makes us just that family oriented without all of us even being related. <laughs> um, but we see, but we just have that family culture. And when somebody's down, you're there. It's like, you know, someone's sick. Okay, what can I do? What do you need me to do so you can go and rest and get better? See, I'm a huge fan of the dislocated business, I suppose, the business that's spread all over the world and that operates virtually rather than everyone being stuck in the same room. And I think a lot of people who are scared of that, it's because they think that you can't create a great culture, you can't create a great feel within the business. People will just ignore each other and they won't work together. But what you've just outlined is exactly why, actually, the fact you're not all in the same place makes you spend time together, which you might not if you were sat next to them. So actually, the, it can be easier to create a feeling of culture and a feeling of collaboration when you're on different continents than when you're not. Yes. And the other thing too, is when you're all in different time zones, if, if it's time for your bedtime, you're like, okay, this still needs a little bit of work. You hand it off to that next person and they can continue it. When you wake up, oh, look at that, it's done. And it didn't have to wait till the next day. So you can also have some things getting got done farther, um, push down the line. But on the flip side, because people are in different time zones, some things can then be slowed. So you do have that, that, that give and take, but I, I think it's such a beautiful culture. At Swanwick, you've grown pretty fast to get to that level of sales in that short of time. And with all those different channels operating globally, what do you put that down to? Is it a particular marketing method, a particular culture? What's enabled Swanwick to grow the way it has? Um, well, one, I definitely think the product. Um, so a lot of people don't know this, but um, our, our founding uh, brothers, they're actually brothers, Tristan and James Swanwick, they started out with just 300 glasses and a mission to make blocking blue light and getting sleep and improving your health cool so that you weren't walking around with ugly glasses where people were pointing at you laughing. Instead, you're walking around and people are like, oh, wow, what are those? And and so I, I, I just really think that just the culture that was started from the very beginning, the focus on quality and the focus on we want to improve other people's lives really just exploded. And people see that when they, you know, 
from the very moment they get the product, even before they get the product, we're sending out emails saying, oh my goodness, go and like stalk the mailman because your stuff is on the way. Like call off of work because it's going to be delivered. And so right from the get-go, we're starting this, this culture of this is exciting and it's worth taking a moment for. And then when they get the package, they open it up and they've got a cool box and all the little goodies that are in there and then become part of the Swannies family because now they're wearing their Swannies. I just feel like it, it, it makes people feel good. E-commerce master plan is supported by some of the greatest companies in the e-commerce sector. Here's a reminder of who they are. Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler. With Sempro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats and packages right from your desk. And for being an e-commerce master plan listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free £10 scale to ensure that you never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with SEMPRO Online. Starting at $4.99 per month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and do it all by printing from your PC. Go to pb.com forward slash masterplan to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free £10 scale to get you started. That's pb.com slash masterplan. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's time for the Top Tips Round. Okay, I love the top tip section because it gives all of us some really quick ideas for taking our businesses to the next level. So, Elena, are you ready for them? I am ready. Excellent. Okay, the book top tip. If everyone listening to this podcast agreed to take Friday off and read a book to make their business better, which book would you recommend? Alrighty, so I had a really hard time narrowing this down, but I'm going to give my top three here. So the anomaly mindset by Sandy Krakowski, it's all about just being you. So if you're afraid of yourself, this is a great book to read. Another one is you are a badass at making money by Jen Sincero. Again, if you've got so many mindset issues with making money, great book. To, to read. And then another one, probably most of you guys have read it. If not, you, as soon as this podcast is over, you need to get the book and sit down and read it. And it would be dot com secrets by Russell Brunson. So anything to do with just working your dot com, that's the book that you want to be reading. Wow. Three amazing tips there. I love it when I allow guests to go over and they give so much. Um, Okay. The traffic top tip, which marketing method do you either prize above all others or think doesn't get the press it deserves? Oh, that's a good one. Um, So one, I love Instagram, but not the tiles. It's actually the story. So Facebook and Instagram stories, I love those because it actually makes you human and it humanizes your business. It's now instead of B2B or B2C, it's now H2H, so human to human. So anything you can do to humanize your business is going to bring in traffic. H to H. That's a great way of describing it. Okay. The tool top tip, maybe a collaboration tool, a social media plug in a phone app, or just a way of working. Is there a cool little tool you use that makes you and your team more efficient from day to day? Um, so our team actually uses two different items that I absolutely love. And you can even use these items if you are a single business. If you're the only one running the show, it'll actually help you maintain what you're doing. So the first one be Asana, project management, and you can even set it up to be a CRM. So if you need to manage all of your peoples. The, the other one would be Slack. So this would be good if you are using it to manage a team. So if you need to communicate with, with team members, and I'm actually going to throw in one bonus one I just learned about and just started using, and it is a tool for your Gmail. It's called sorted and the little icon. If you see a little squirrel, you know, you've got the right tool and it can actually um, help you manage your email and make it more productive for following up with people. Cool. And that last one with the squirrel icon, was that sorted as in you're sorting letters or something? Right. But without the final E, it sorts with just a D and it has a squirrel icon and it's a great plugin for Gmail. They have free and paid version and I use it with my assistant and it's absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, uh, the growth top tip. If you met someone today who's focused on growing their e-commerce business from 100 orders per month to 1,000, what would be your number one tip for them? So my number one tip is actually going to be mindset focus, and it's going to be step out of your own way. Most of the time, we, we have all these different ideas that we write down, but as soon as we write them down, we then have 15 reasons why we can't do that great idea we just had because of our own mindset. So step out of your way, take that idea list, start at the top and work your way down. Excellent. I love how that ties in with some of your book tips as well. Okay, Elena, before we say goodbye, could you let listeners know where they can find the marvellous products of Swanwick uh, on the web and social media, please? Absolutely. So you can find us at swanwicksleep.com. And that is literally spelled the way that it sounds, a swan, a candlewick and sleep swanwicksleep.com. And then we are on Instagram at Swanwick and we're on Facebook, Swanwick Sleep. Perfect. And I believe you may have a special offer for our listeners. Absolutely. So yeah. So if you guys, whenever you're checking out on the checkout cart page, you're going to see a area to enter a promo code. And if you enter master plan, you will save 10% on your order. Very nice. Thank you very much for that. Um, Elena, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. I, I love the fact that culture is such an important part of Swanwick. And not only have you made it such a strong part of the business, but it's also something that's managed cross, cross borders, which is something which I know a lot of people run scared from. So thank you very much for sharing that today. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Oh, it's been amazing being here. And I've really enjoyed talking with you today. And I thank you for having me. Really cool to hear from Elena there how the passion of the product and creating the excitement enabled them to grow the business and then how they've gone about creating that flexible team that has a fantastic culture that really does keep the whole thing growing. I think it's a fascinating business. I'm interested to see what happens over the next couple of years for them, especially as the whole blue light um, thing grows and grows in the press and the media and we'll become more aware of it. Now to get your hands on the notes from today's show, including the top tips, links, details related episodes, and also um, a reminder of that great offer she gave us, head over to ecommercemasterplan.com forward slash podcast. If you're listening via Apple Podcasts or iTunes, please do give us some feedback via their review app. I hope you have a great week and keep optimizing. Thank you for listening to the e-commerce master plan podcast. Find out more at ecommercemasterplan.com slash podcast.